so the formatting of this video is pretty much going to be pretty simple. We're going to go in each category and pick one gun that I think is the best. So let's get started with assault rifles. In assault rifles, we have the Flatline Hemlock R301 and the Havoc. In my opinion, the R301 is the best overall assault rifle in the game. It has a high fire rate, decent damage output, and next to no recoil. This thing is a complete monster at range or close range. In general, it's one of the most versatile guns in the game with its automatic and single fire modes and it has a iron sight that is fairly nice and has a holographic little component to it which makes aiming a lot easier. Once this thing has its stabilizer, its stock, extended mag and its own sight, this thing is pretty much unstoppable on the battlefield. The Hemlock to me is the runner up to this assault rifle. It needs a quick little shout out because on single fire mode it is pretty much a crazy little beast with the extended mag but the R301 again comes in number one. For submachine guns we have the alternator and the prowler and the R99. For me the R99 is the number one submachine gun in the game. It completely melts and has a crazy easy recoil to control with the straight up and down recoil. And if you land headshots you literally blink an eye and the character you're facing is dead. The Prowler is pretty good and deserves a shout out but only with the hop up. Other than that the R99 dominates this category. It's a complete monster. And then we have light machine guns. So for light machine guns, when playing with this, we're going to say the Spitfire is number one for me. The extended mag, the barrel stabilizer, and the weapon stock just makes this gun one of the best guns, especially with the extended mag. You can wipe out a whole team without even having to reload. This gun is a monster at medium range, and it can be decent at close range as well. The only place where the Spitfire kind of lacks is long range, but that's an LMG issue. The Devotion has the same issue. And the recoil on the Spitfire is a little bit unique compared to the other guns. So it takes a little while to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's a monster on the battlefield. 100% one of the best guns in the game, even with its recent nerf. So sniper rifles are a little bit weird in Apex Legends. The G7 Scout, to me, isn't a true sniper rifle. It's more of a DMR or marksman rifle. And then the triple take, the Kraber, and longbow are more like true snipers. Even the longbow is a little bit iffy. So... For an actual sniper, the triple take takes the biscuit here, guys. It is a monstrous weapon. You can hold way too much ammo. The clip size naturally on it is nice enough. It has a horizontal shot spread. So if you miss your shot a little bit, you can still land your shot. The basic sight on the gun is nice. And it can have a hop up for a precision choke, making it one of the deadliest guns in the game. It's fun at close range, medium range, and long range, and I've won a complete game just using this gun only. You can check out that video in the link below. The G7 Scout is also one of the best snipers in the game in my opinion if you call it, consider it a sniper. In the sniper category, this would be probably overall the most versatile sniper um, of them all because it's more of a DMR. It can do long distance, close distance, and medium range. So. I don't really consider this a sniper, it's not really a true sniper due to its fire rate and magazine size. So again, triple take taking number one, but G7 Scout needs a little bit of a shout out here. For shotguns, the EVA 8 takes its spot as number one in my heart um, due to its consistency and its range of fire. It can shoot quite far and landing headshots with this thing comes naturally with its iron sight for me. Um, the PK, it deserves a shout out, but only when it has its attachments. If it doesn't have its attachments, it doesn't do the job I need it to do for me. Um, it does turn into a complete and total sniper, which is cool. But again, the EVA is just more consistent for me on the battlefield. And last, but certainly not least, we're going to talk about pistols. We have the RE45, the P2020, and the Wingman. If you are a skilled player and can land headshots, the Wingman would take number one, but I suck at this game, so the RE45 takes number one spot due to it being a pretty much an assault rifle, and once you get that extended mag on there, it's pretty much a full-blown assault rifle. No worries about having to worry about reloading mid-battle. So, plus, look at this. The skin on this gun is mint. If you liked the video and you'll learn something from the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.